I have someone that's going to drop by and they want to cab some tremolite and make a ring. So what I need is to isolate some crystals from, whoops, <laughs> tremolite rocks. So there's one I thought might be a good one. And here is another. Now this, this is more bladed. Yeah, look at that. A blade just fell off. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> there it is. I don't know why I do things backwards on this camera. Anyway, there's a blade of tremolite. I don't think you can do much with that. But within this rock itself, if you look up in here, there's a crystal right there. Um, that's clear tremolite by the look of it, which might be awfully nice. So, I think step one is before they get here, I'm going to etch these rocks with muriatic acid. So let's do it together. So there's the rocks in a plastic gold pan. That's probably pretty good right there. Add some water. But you don't need to you don't need to have too much acid so it can be diluted and there's the muriatic acid so we'll try to do it 50 50 huh I'm noticing this one isn't bubbling very much I don't think there's much calcite there so the clear crystals are probably clear tremolite rather than calcite this one, of course, is bubbling a little bit. Don't want to breathe that stuff in. That's why I'm doing it outside. Hmm. Interesting. There's a bit of bubbling here, so calcite or dolomite, one of the eights. Okay. What do you say we zoom in? We'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so there's the tremolite. One little piece broke off and it's got quite nice clear crystal on it. I think it makes a nice thumbnail sample. I'm just going to leave that alone. The little bladed tremolites on it. Cool. This one didn't do much in the acid. It's pretty solid. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm tempted, really, to slice it and get two samples out of it. We'll see. And then here's the bladed tremolite. I don't think this really can be cabbed. Um, little hair-like crystals down in there. There's that one up there. Maybe it could just be knocked off. I'll leave it alone see what my friend says. But awfully attractive specimen I think anyway so let's slice this and then call it a day
And that really is nice and solid. I don't know what you think, but I think my friend would be very happy with that. And now I've got samples that stand up. <laughs> All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Add some water.